These are case numbers 17451-3203 and 19440-6601, the people of the state of Michigan versus Micah Bradford. The defendant is charged with three counts of assault or assault and battery. Today is the date set for pretrial conference as to each. Appearances, please. For the record, Your Honor, Christina Ritter on behalf of the people. Janice Stevenson appearing on behalf of Ms. Micah Bradford. Ms. Bradford, ma'am, please unmute and tell the judge your full name. Micah Michelle Bradford. How are, we, how are we proceeding? Your Honor, on behalf of Ms. Bradford, we would first offer the court an apology for Ms. Bradford's prior appearance at the time that this case was initially called. Uh, Ms. Bradford, without offering this as an excuse, just wants the court to know she was um, not lying in bed. She was on her bed trying to charge her phone. That won't happen again. She'll charge her she phone. She was laying night. in the bed. I don't care it, what she was doing in the bed. She was clearly laying in the bed. And end of, I am one thing I'm for certain of, one thing I'm for certain of is that wherever Miss Bradford is, mm -hmm. there is a plug that is not at the bed that she could have charged her phone and not be lying in the bed. Second of all, once the court brought to her attention that she was lying in the bed, Mm -hmm. everybody else that I've ever had came in contact with on the Zoom court that that was um, uninformed enough to come to court in the bed would get up out of the bed when the judge says, "Get you're in the bed. Second of all, the apology should have probably extended from my first encounter with Ms. Bradford. I mean, with Ms. Yeah, Br Bradford, but you wouldn't have known it because you, I think, was in the breakout room when I had to go into the breakout room with Ms. Bradford and admonish her to never speak to me again in the manner that she continued to speak to me, even when she saw that I was the judge. That... Okay, so anyway, continue, Ms. Stevenson, but she was laying in the bed, laying in the bed. She was laying down in a bed. I said I Ma'am, Miss Stevenson, this is this because anything you say probably is not going to work out good for you, Miss Stevenson. Thank you, Your Honor. So, Miss Bradford, ma'am, if you could just uh, listen attentively to what the court's saying, Your Honor, we don't offer um, anything again as a way uh, by way of excuse. Uh, we just want the court to know that we did have a conversation with Miss Bradford. Um, that we've had communication with her prior to today's appearance, Your Honor, and. Um, this morning, and we would like the court to have our assurances that we are trying to assist Ms. Bradford in having a successful court appearance. Um, on behalf of Ms. Bradford, we would move for dismissal for the complainant's failure to appear. Ms. Ritter? Yeah, just the first scheduling for both cases, and I'm going to respect the request. I'm glad you said that, and before you respectfully request, are, are these matters properly on the court's docket for pretrial conference? They're, they're a little older cases. Is that a question for the people, Judge? For anybody who's look, who has access to the register of action. I do not, Judge. Just looking at the... Um some of the information I have about the case, you're on, about the cases, um, I do believe these cases are properly on this court's docket. No, not on my docket. I mean, but on the docket for pretrial conference. Oh, I would say um, I have an arraignment date with no prior capious history, Your Honor, on March 1st of 2023. For both cases? Yes, Your Honor. That seems weird. Okay, Mr. Flanagan, can you just confirm that? But all right, so Ms. Ritter, I interrupted you when you said you would respectfully request. 
Yes, sir. So the people respectfully request, if this is uh, correctly set for pre-trial conferences for both cases, we respectfully request the court to adjourn both cases for pre-trial conference to give the complainant witnesses one more opportunity to appear. They are older cases, Judge, so the people would just like an opportunity to try to locate the complainant witnesses. Today is the day set for pre-trial conference as to each matter. The court is going to deny defense counsel's motion for dismissal, grant the people's request for an adjournment to give them an opportunity to attempt to locate the complaining witness. Complaining witnesses. Uh, the court will... Set the pretrial conference for Wednesday, June 14th. At 8.36, the complaining witnesses are required to appear. Failure of the complaining witnesses to appear will most likely result in the matters being dismissed unless the people have a valid explanation as to why they cannot appear. Additionally, Ms. Bradford has to come in person. Ms. Ms. Bradford is having extreme difficulty in attending court properly. She currently has her hands on her hips. She um, is not sitting in an upright position as instructed by the court earlier. Uh, perhaps I believe she may have come into the court Zoom late after the instructions were given. Um, and I'm having a difficult time dealing with Ms. Bradford's difficult time appearing right. via Zoom. She's the last one. Um, Mr. Flanagan, um, mute, your, mute the courtroom. Um, just, can I just say with the, I don't want to interrupt you, but just the standing up part, that's the only part I'm going to talk about. It, that may be my fault because when we were in breakout room, I thought it would be better, you know, rather than leaning on the counter to just stand up. Uh, what oh, I said, I agree. To I agree. I agree. I like saw you're at the podium. So yeah. Okay. I agree. My my point wasn't really to. Okay. And maybe I said sitting, and I didn't. Um. Mm -hmm. Maybe I said sitting. My my issue wasn't necessarily with the standing because standing is what they do at the podium. My issue was with her hands on her hips. And then in response to me addressing the hands on the hips, then she folded her hands in front of her arms, but I mean, and folded her arms in front of her. Uh, but nonetheless, um, I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you, Ms. Bradford. I, I don't know why you, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, it, you're, you're standing at the podium be, before the judge and you just stand with your hands beside you and and you don't yell at the judge and you don't roll your eyes at the judge and you don't smack your lips at the judge and you don't I mean I, I just I don't know I don't know what what else I can say um as to how a person is supposed to appear in court and perhaps my expectations are high that I believe that the average person should know that when they come to court, they don't yell at the judge. They don't smack their lips at the judge. They don't roll their eyes at the judge. They don't lay in the bed when they come to court. I, those are things that I believe people should automatically know, but I could be incorrect. I could be incorrect. Um, and since I must be incorrect, I'm trying my level best to instruct you on how to appear in court. Now you can receive the instruction or not, but if you do not know how to appear in court properly on Zoom, then I want to draw your attention to the fact that that courtroom right there is open to every defendant that has a case before the court. And you could come into the courtroom and you could stand at that podium and you could have your matter heard. But if you are going to come on Zoom, you are going to come appropriately. 
and you're not going to treat me like I have done something to you. You're not going to treat me like I arrested you, like I brought charges against you. You're not going to yell at me again, and you're not going to attend court inappropriately. It's just not going to happen. Okay. So like I said, the matter is adjourned to June 14th at 8.36. And if, and the complaining witnesses require, are required to appear. And if Ms. Bradford needs to come in person in order to attend court properly, then she needs to appear in person. Anything further with respect to this matter? Not from the people, Judge, thank you. Nothing on behalf of Ms. Bradford. Thank you very much, Sharon. You're very welcome. And we are all set until June 14th at 8.36. Have a great day and stay safe.